Okay, and our last uh, news, because we've got to get to Karen soon. Um, in uh, Spectrum News, which who we love, spectrumnews.org, they've got uh, an interesting article about a new assessment, a screening tool to look for suicidality in autistic adults, which we know how important that is. Uh-huh. And, and that, you know, just the other day I was saying that, you know, the number one cause of, of death for individuals on the autism spectrum is drowning due Mm -hmm. to elopement. The second is uh, being hit by a car due to elopement. But um, suicide in adults is quickly uh, gaining traction. And this is a really bad statistic that obviously we would all like to see become less. Um, So I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, And it's, it's available online, Shannon. It's called the Suicidal Behaviors Questionnaire Autism Spectrum Conditions, SBQ-ASC. And And, and my understanding is that it's five questions um, that they uh, ask you to see, to assess whether you're someone who needs uh, to be looked at further. What I love about this is that it's specifically designed to be able to catch these features in individuals who are adults on the spectrum. Um, Because so often, you know, it's one size fits all and individuals on the spectrum are not going to fit into every one of those molds. Right, Nancy? Right, right. But this is very important and we urge all of you to take a look online and check this out especially if you are on the spectrum or if you love someone who is on the spectrum. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.